My name is Melinda. I live in South Florida. I uh, had a double lung transplant nine years ago. And with double lung transplant or any transplant patient, we need anti-rejection medication. That particular medication harms kidneys. So that is the root of my kidney problems. So I've been in stage four for quite some time until I had um, a virus. That virus was pretty hard on my system. And the whole picture brought me from stage four, where I was for five years, to stage five, the dreaded five. And then when I recovered to a point that I could see my nephrologist, she said, well, the big D word, it's time for dialysis for you. I picked myself up. I said, I'm going to do whatever it took. And she told me to take a class that's offered in the communities. It was an okay class, but the gold was when I met a man, Dimitri, and I thank him so much because he introduced me to Lee Hull's book. I'm getting chills telling you that because that was a pivotal point. I just devoured that book and I started making the recipes and just doing what I had to do to take care of myself in a new way. So I stopped eating meat. I'm a, mostly vegan. And of course I got back into my exercise and I felt my body strengthening. Um, but I'm so excited to tell you my lab numbers. Only three weeks on the diet. My GFR, which was 13 and pretty steadily 13, it went up to 17. Now that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but that is a lot because the GFR is not easy to move. I was able to say, I'm too healthy for dialysis because the cutoff is at 15. And that was so encouraging. And my creatinine went from 3.6 to 2.99. And then my BUN, I had a 60 level and it went down to 36. And then I shared with my nephrologist, of course, what I was doing. She got the book and started reading it. I can tell you my latest blood work, which was at two months, is GFR 21 and BUN 29. So it went down even further. And the creatinine 2.51. And then the other amazing thing, I looked at it. And I realized, oh my gosh, I don't qualify for a kidney transplant. You have to be under 20 GFR. I was 21. And I think I'm on the way up. Some other things that I noticed, um, of course, the energy level, the exercise tolerance, the mental clarity has been remarkable. Another thing that's really remarkable for a transplant patient is because of this diet, my prograph level, the anti-rejection level, had risen. So I had to come down from the level, the amount of medicine I was taking. This is so encouraging. So as far as the diet and to make it easier, practically speaking, being able to cook quadruple amount of recipe so that you don't have to cook every day. Um, enrolling other people in your life with helping me find different recipes. So hope is a big word. Lee brought me hope that there, I didn't have to cave to what story I was told, that there was something in my power that I could do. You feel empowered when you see your own results. You know, if you're a spiritual person, draw on that. And you can draw on your experience in your life once you have Lee's book, the rest is up to you. And I think once you believe in yourself and, and know that this is a journey, this is, you don't have to have the end point straight away. So another important thing is advocate for your physicians. And the doctors I've talked to have decided to get the book. So you're spreading and you're passing forward this information that other patients can have. Imagine how many patients can avoid or delay being on dialysis. Oh, the same for kidney transplant. That to me is so encouraging and inspiring to give back that way.